Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about primitives in Celery. So uh, basically primitives are signature ob objects themselves which can be combined in any way or number to uh, create comp or compose complex workflows. And first we are going to take a look at groups. So a group calls a list of tasks in parallel and returns a special result instance that lets you inspect the result as a group and retrieve and and retrieve the return values in order <clears throat> so here we are at our folder and let's start it with uh, four workers now what we would like to do in the other console is to open up Python and what we would like to do is to import from Celery the group and from project.tasks we would like to import the pov. So here we have the pov function and what we would like to do is to create the result which is a g and we say that in the group we would like to use the pov dot s and we specify i by i for i in range 10 and then we get it so it expects one argument no sorry this way and here we have the group and as you can see 0 on the zeros power, 1 on the first power, 2 on the second and so on and we can specify g10.get but it says the 3 were given so we have the pov and that way so why is it not working? so it should be working and there we go so this way we can retrieve the results from our group and now we have to talk about chains so in order to use it we have to import from the salary module so chain and we would what do we have here project tasks Hmm. Let's uh, try and uh, kill it. So, salary <coughs> multi kill one, two, three, four. And now we would like to use the nano to create two new tasks. So at app.task add x and y and return x plus y and we will have another task and we will have a multiply x and return three times x all right let's run our Hmm. Right on now PS AUX grab salary project worker so salary multi and kill or stop so 
so it should be worker one. No. Hmm, why is it not working? Kill W one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, that's down. All right, now we should be able to run it. <coughs> Great. So now we can go back to the chain. So we have imported. Oh, let's open up a new one. So from salary import chain and from project tasks import add and multiply. So now what we would like to do is to chain add that s four by six and multiply s eight and then get the result. Hmm. Let's do it this way and see that get. And hmm. chain takes no arguments. All right. So basically chains, uh, chains allow you to link together tasks together and uh, one task returns and the other one is called. So basically that's it. Uh, let's try the chain and that s4 multiply. <laughs> dot s8 yeah and we also have the chord which is basically a group with a callback so from salary we import chord and we could use chord with add s i by i for i in range 10 and we use the x sum that s and call it and use the get so this is how you could uh, basically use it and technically that's it the other thing that i want to show you is that if you go ahead and edit the project's salary that py what you could specify in the app that conf that update is that you want your task routes to go with the project tasks add and the q should be high add and uh, let's go ahead and try to kill w5 w3 w4 w2 w1 all right and uh, Basically, what we would like to do is to kick off our salary. And here we would like to use from project.tasks import add. 
and use the r equals add dot delay four by four and if we go back and refresh it we should be able to find that q and we have the bindings consumers so technically this allows you to uh, basically use a different q or if you want let's make this r2 and say that we want the add that apply async two by two with the q equals hi add and r2 dot get and in order for this to work what we have to do is to add the hi add q admin hmm Save it. All right. <clears throat> and inside there, now we can see that we have one message. And this message was processed successfully. So technically that's all I wanted to show you in this video. See you in the next one.